Hello and welcome to today's Node Red tutorial. In this video, we will be learning into a Node Red flow that fetches weather information from the API. The flow uses various Node Red nodes and a widget to achieve this. So, if you are interested in learning about Node Red and how to create a simple weather dashboard, stick around and let's get started. So, coming to the step 1, let's begin by taking a look at the Node Red flow that we will be exploring today. As you can see, the flow consists of several nodes and widgets. We will break down each component and explain its purpose. Our flow starts with an inject node. This node sends a message with the text fetch weather every 30 seconds. This message triggers the flow to fetch the weather data from the particular location. Step 3. The inject node is connected to an open weather map node that this node is responsible for making an API request to open weather map to get the current weather information for particular location if it uses latitude and longitude coordinate to specify the location. Step 3. The inject node is connected to an open weather node. This node is responsible for making an API request to open weather map. To get the current weather information for current location, it uses latitude and longitude coordinates to specify the location. Step 4. The output from the open weather map node is sent to a debug node. Node helps us to debug and inspect the data received from the API. It won't be visible on the user interface, but it's essential for developer to check the data. Step 5. UI text node. The data from the open weather map node is then sent to UI text node. This node is a part of the node red dashboard and is responsible for displaying the weather information on the user interface. It formats the data and presents it in a user-friendly way. Step 6. User Interface We have created a weather detail text element in the Node Red dashboard to display the weather information. It shows the weather details, temperature in Celsius and humidity in percentage. Users can view the information in real time. That's it for our Node Red flow explanation. We have covered the inject node, open weather map node, debug node, UI text node and the user interface elements. With this flow, you can easily fetch and display weather data from any, any location of your choice. If you have found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more node red tutorials and IoT related content. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this node red tutorial valuable. If you find any questions or need further clarification, please feel free to leave a comment and we will be happy to assist you. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and we will see you in the next video.